Hi there, welcome to my channel, I'm Christy. So this fall, I made a journey to uh, BC and I bought uh, bulk apples. Um, we went to go pick up my flower farm bulbs down by Vancouver Island. And while we were en route home, we decided to make our way through Peachland area where there's lots of orchards and we purchased some really beautiful organic apples as well as um, many different ty types of fruit. Um, but today I decided today was the day that I wanted to preserve the remaining apples that I have um, in storage because they're starting to not keep very well and I don't want to put them in my in my extra fridge because um, I have my tulip bulbs that I'm planning to force for Mother's Day in my fridge and the reason why I don't want to put them in there with the tulip bulbs is because the apples they produce a gas which actually can cause the tulip bulbs to stop producing their blooms. Um, so if you're new to kind of flower farming stuff, this is important to me, might be interesting to you, but um, basically when tulips are going to bloom, they need a cold period to develop that bloom. And they, they develop that bloom during that duration of time where it is cool. And they do that right inside the bulb. Now, with the gases that apples will release, um, what happens is it will make the bloom not develop. I definitely do not want that to happen because my blooms I'm planning to sell for Mother's Day, so to my florist, and um, I definitely do not want to lose those blooms. So I made two things today using these apples. These are organic apples that we purchased. I should mention, I paid $19 for a bushel of apples on this trip, Canadian. Um, so it was, it was a really good price for me to be able to purchase apples, organic apples for $19. Um, so these have, we've ate most of them, but this is what's remaining. And uh, so, some of them I made into dehydrated apple rings. My family really loves them. What I, what I did in this video, as you will see, is I cored and peeled the apples before I cut them into rings. And what I did with those cores and, and peels is I put them in a pot and covered them with water. And that water and apples went and simmered on the stove. And I kind of extracted an apple juice. And then I strained out the apples um, and I put them to the side for our chicken treat. And then we made jelly out of the juice that was remaining. And so um, it was a pretty simple process. It was for every one cup of juice, I added three quarters of a cup of sugar, um, organic cane sugar, and also a quarter teaspoon. The, the recipe calls for a quarter teaspoon per cup. I ended up adding three t three tablespoons at the end of the video uh, or at the end of the cooking process, but there was already lemon juice present in the uh, in the apples because I used the water. Um, so when I was cutting the apples, I put the apples in the water so that they wouldn't go brown. Um, and, and I used, so I used lemon juice in the water. When I cut the apples up, I put the apples in lemon water or lemon mixed with water so that um, the apples didn't turn brown while I was dehydrating them. And I used that liquid to use in my apple scrap. So nothing was wasted. I used all of the lemon juice in the water and everything, everything, it was truly a scrappy kind of a, uh, you know, everything was scraps. Um, the water was scrap water. The scraps were scraps from, you know, another product that I was making. So I also checked on, um, I thought I would check on my other projects. So something else I made with the scraps of these apples previously when I was doing other things, like I made a batch of applesauce that I didn't record um, a while ago. And with the scrap, those scraps, what I did is I made an apple cider vinegar, which is really simple. I didn't share that with you. 
Um, and I didn't do that today simply because I have so many um, questions myself that I don't have the answers for because I'm still pretty new to doing apple cider vinegar from scraps at home myself. Um, but one day when I do get a little bit more knowledgeable, then I would love to share that with you. Um, but today it was just, I made apple rings, um, dehydrated apple rings, and of course the, um, what do you call it? <laughs> of course the apple jelly, apple scrap jelly. So, um, very simple process, very minimal ingredients. And remember, this would have been just waste. This would have been compost or whatnot. So I was able to can up, I had 13 uh, half pints. Um, I ended up putting one in the fridge so that we could use and consume that this week because I didn't want to start another, like another level in the canner. So I ended up with 12 half pints. And those will be, you know, when you think about it, we go through about one jar of jam for our family of three per month. Um, usually that's pretty, we, we, we could usually stretch it a little bit more. We don't use a lot of jam, but on biscuits or toast, Chaz really, my son likes to have jam. So one jar per month. And of course I have other jams on, on the shelf. So this jelly will probably stretch us for two years or it could be 12 gifts or six gifts. You know, I could gift it um, to others as Christmas gifts or whatnot. So um, it's, it's just basically, you know, it, it's it's a free product to put in my pantry shelf and it didn't go to waste and it'll last me a long, long time. Um, I can... If you're hearing this noise, my tower garden just kicked on. I'll show you quickly. It's running. I don't have any solution in it yet. Um, I'm just running it to keep the water nice and um, aerated as well as getting rid of any chemicals in it before I'm ready to put my put my seedlings in here but I did I will be doing a video sharing with you what I am growing in the winter time in my basement uh, again I live in northern Alberta Canada we get really 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 cold so if you're interested please do like and subscribe I will be sharing um, as I'm learning myself and what I'm doing so that's that it's pretty loud I know we have baby. Go check this out. We have baby lettuces. <laughs> Aren't they cute? Oh, I love baby lettuces. Can't wait to get those planted.
always forget to let them sit in the canner, like turn it off and take the lid off and let them sit for 10 minutes before I pull them out. I always forget that part, but today I remembered. And so I'm really excited. I actually remembered to do it. Um, probably doesn't make much difference, but I do know I, I have really good uh, results with sealing if I do let it just sit just a little bit smidgen longer. so much for hanging out with me today I hope you enjoyed today's video I hope it inspired you to try making something new if you have never tried making apple scrap um, jelly before it is so easy and you know what it is really delicious it's something that people love getting as a gift I love giving it as a gift so I hope you're inspired to try making um, something out of nothing basically it is a really great way to stretch what you have and um, have something to put on your pantry pantry shelves and give you a little bit more of food security anyways thank you guys for watching much love we'll catch you next time bye for now